I'd like to introduce you to the E30 ventilator. To do so, I'd like to address three topics. First, why did we create this ventilator? With the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, there was clear indication that large numbers of ventilators were going to be needed. As a result, we looked at our capabilities to produce ventilators and realized that our standard, more sophisticated ventilators could not be produced in adequate numbers to meet the demand. We also realized that we could produce E30 ventilators in large numbers, and we determined that this ventilator would be adequate for most patients with COVID pneumonia. As a result, we launched into its production. Second, what are the characteristics of this device? Well, its pressure range is zero to 30 centimeters of water. They can be divided between the positive end expiratory pressure PEEP and the pressure support as the doctor deems appropriate, and such pressures ought to meet the needs of most patients. The modes are CPAP, pressure support, pressure support with a backup rate, and pressure control. The device has a full set of alarms. And finally, with high flow oxygen, either into the inlet or into the breathing circuit, can deliver fractions of inspired oxygens, or FiO2s, up to 90 to 100%. Now third, who should use this ventilator? We believe virtually any patient with COVID pneumonia other than the very sickest patients are appropriate for this ventilator. Thus you can save your standard invasive ventilation devices for the sickest patients and use the E30 on the somewhat less sick. This would include patients requiring non-invasive ventilation with an unvented mask for their hypoxia. It will include invasive ventilation with an intratracheal tube, again, maybe not for the sickest patients, but for most such patients. And certainly after a patient has gone through a course of invasive ventilation, they could in theory be extubated to non-invasive ventilation using the E30 device until their ventilatory requirements cease. Thus, we believe most COVID patients requiring mechanical ventilation could use this device, again, freeing up more sophisticated devices for the sickest patients. We hope you'll therefore give this ventilator adequate consideration.